So the cable came in. It was a cheaper version. I think it was about $25. I think the original one was $40 or so. But you can see it has both cables and this mechanism here. And the part number I used is... And it's a Craftsman part number, so that should get you to the right, uh, the right part. Yay. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty then. Looks like that fell out. That goes in here. And I'm pretty sure this goes like this. See what I did there? Believe it or not, this uh, cable replacement is not too tough to do. Now you can see I'm completely missing the uh, parts of the cable here. So it's a dual cable setup you see here. But both cables come together and they attach at one point here on the stop lever. Basically one of the cables goes to your stop lever here and the other goes down to this little mechanism for the bag. So to take the bracket off here, I'm basically just going to wedge a screwdriver in, pop it off. So then the cables go through here. Not quite sure how to deal with this little piece. It looks like it'll come off there. And then it looks like it's connected here at this point. Just a push in plastic piece which you can reuse and we have another cable guide down here all right if you look on this bracket you'll see it's only held on with one bolt I have a 5 16 wrench here. Got to hold this bracket in place to be able to loosen up this screw all the way. But basically you just take out this one screw and this whole piece comes off. So you can see that's where the screw goes in and there's a pin right here that fits in a hole that's why it only needs one bolt to hold it on. Alright so we're completely disconnected with the old one here and here's the new cable we just want to make sure that we put the uh, the pin through the hole down there and then there's our screw hole. All right, so I moved the mower around, hopefully give you guys a little better view. And you can see the two holes we're dealing with. Just like that. Put in our screw. I think it's a self-tapping self screw, so you've got to kind of be careful when you thread it in. So just make sure the plastic pin is still in place before you cinch it down. Now remember, you're just cinching this metal screw down into this plastic piece, so this thing will strip out in a second. So just get it till it's snug, a little bit resistance, do not over tighten it. I repeat, do not over tighten it, or you'll be hating life. We can attach this into the cable. So it looks like they're doing us a little different on this bracket. Um, the cables can come out 
unlike the old one. And there's no pin to go through here, so you'll have to find a bolt to put in there. And then as I was saying on this end, this loop has to be over this like that. And then it just goes into place like so. But this is the last piece you want to put in. Alright, so let me find a bolt for this. So, if you want to know what this piece actually does, I'll tell you. It's kind of a stupid design. But when you raise the flap, it's supposed to keep the flap up. So you can install the bag easier. And then to lower the flap, you just push this down and it automatically closes. Nifty, huh? More parts to break, is what I see. This should do it. Got to make sure these cables stay in place. like that's in place. Make sure that's through the loop there. To take off this stop lever you can just squish it and it comes out, see? So it's real easy to install this cable. You just take out this side of the stop lever. And then uh, take out this side and I'll put this side in, pop that side back in, and we're good. And take a look at the flap. You can see it goes down just like it's supposed to. Let's see if this baby runs. Yeah, it runs good, except the pull rope is whacked. It won't pull back in. Damn. Always something. 